there's something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretation. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. magical. Aye, aye, but twas not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. <laughs> Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship-shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. Tears had enough time to uh, find its equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Now, what else might there be to discuss? <laughs> I am already here, Kratos. Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am here. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. Master Kratos feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes, well thrown. Ah, the sound 
of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you could... I have a question. No. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, find the gateway over I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh, no, Mr. Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neetho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Carry on, <laughs> <my> friend. <laughs> Already here, <laughs> as it were. <laughs> so. I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, man. Stop with your stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Ah, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Uh, didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. <laughs> You really should eat. Some people swear by it on almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. 
Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let go! Druma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can whatever. you tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <sighs> I gotta get out of here. should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Where are you going? 
Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here. I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <laughs> scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Coming! Ah. <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answer soon enough. Well, some of them.
When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answer soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Thola. Oh. This way. I'll, uh... <laughs> Take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. And... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <clears throat> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Take that! Watch, Watch out! out! <laughs> <laughs> doing before you came here surviving fumble winter wait is that a thing around here did you know about it i did i'll be up above you but keep going the way you're going <laughs> is that chain mail i wonder what brought this injury with me Oh, they're kind of like uncles. I know. <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. Can't believe there are nightmares there too. Jump up! Totally. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? 
Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. It's talking to another giant, and she's... Yeah. The Alpha! I guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. Loki! Ah! Ah! I've got it. Tell me when! Too. Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. <laughs> 